I leave on May 23rd, so I guess that's Saturday. So I guess I'm going to give you the real about Florida and everything that I've done since I lived here. I was born here, 86th in Orlando, uh, 1986. I was cut out of my mother's stomach, uh, C-sectioned, which I love you, Mom, and happy belated Mother's Day. I think my mother is the strongest of us all. Um, I was always a wild kid. I got cut out of my mother's stomach because my heart was going too fast, so uh, I had to get cut out. Couldn't come out the natural way. So as soon as I'm cut out, we live in Orlando for about two years, and I'm actually in Orlando now. But after uh, two years, um, to be honest, my sister was born eight years before me. I love you, Vanessa Bamber. That's my sister. Um, so I was told later on in life that why we moved from Orlando was because when my sister was eight years old and we're going through elementary that Orlando was getting dark. Now, we're not fucking racist and please don't ever fucking comment about us being racist. But my mother and father would look up ethnicity rate. They would look up graduation rate. They would look up, uh, you know, all the factual things about middle schools, high schools, and everything. So Orlando was looking really bad. So they moved my sister to Merritt Island, okay? And then this is when I moved from Orlando to Merritt Island. I was two years old. And then, you know, at two years old, I don't think you guys know anything, right? At two years old... I don't think, I think we're learning maybe, uh, let's just say mama and dada at two years old. But anyways, my sister was eight. Okay. So they had to move her over to Merritt Island. So we moved to Merritt Island. Um, I grew up there from three years old to about eight years old. So we stayed there on Ebb Tide Avenue. Great place next to Cocoa Beach. Uh, it's a very beachy town. Now, um, sister went to the same high school as my mother. Uh, congratulations. They did great. Now, when I grew up around there, uh, I was known. I was, I was the bastard child. Okay. So, so like you guys think that I talk a lot of shit now, I talk shit when I was like, as soon as I could like fucking speak words. Okay. Um, I was always the best at what I did. And if you don't think I am, you could definitely test me. I'm still the same kid. But I was a bastard. I was I was the kid that called you out in kickball or called you out in flag football or called you out in anything. If you weren't good, I don't want you on my team because my team wins and you lose and I didn't want to be a loser. So uh, when I grew up in Merritt Island, I uh, was part of every uh, baseball team, every club sport, and uh, my name was known around town, okay? So uh, at nine years old, eight, nine years old, I won the pump, pass, and kick, which... If you guys want to look this up, uh, the pump, pass, and kick is actually an exclusive competition between, I think it's 8-year-old to 13-year-olds, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty hard competition to win. And when you beat millions of kids out when you're fucking 8, 9 years old, I got a, little, I got a lot more shit to talk than most of you because I think when you guys were 8 or 9, you probably didn't even know what the fuck butterflies or a football was. Now, um, when I was playing sports when I was young, I won the pump as a gig again when I was eight, nine years old in Merritt Island, Audubon Elementary. Um, it was great. Everybody knew me. I was the name around town. Uh, my name in Merritt Island, the Bamber name, was great. Um, the funniest thing about it was is uh, what the fuck have you done when you were eight or nine years old? Now, I'm asking the public because... Jesus Christ, I guarantee a million of you at eight or nine years old were still sucking your fucking thumb. And I was in a competition around millions. Actually, I went to Kansas City. Uh, this is 1996. Uh, Colts against the Chiefs in the playoffs uh, in front of 76,000 fans. It's minus zero degrees on the field. And what the fuck were you doing at nine years old? I guarantee you, you're still picking your fucking nose. So when I talk, you maybe want to listen because I guarantee you, you weren't doing shit when you were eight or nine years old. Again, okay, so I'll go back to this. So back to Merritt Island, eight or nine years old, in a competition against millions of kids that I beat, and you probably never will or never have. I go there, I'm, in, I'm, I'm on TV, at nine years old, on TV, holding the trophy up, like, yeah, number one. Uh, won that, and then after Merritt Island, we went to Gainesville. 
Now, Gainesville was a podunk-ass town. I mean, podunk. I mean, we're talking 1997, 98, before Tebow, before all you girls and all you guys think, oh, my God, I went to Gainesville when Tebow was there. Like, I think I'm famous. Shut the fuck up. You're nothing. Okay, you went to Gainesville, which is a podunk town. Nothing happens in Gainesville but college. If you didn't go to college in Gainesville in 1999 to 2001, I don't think anybody fucking knows you. But I was in Kanapaha, okay? So I went to Wiles Kimball, then I went to Kanapaha, which was my, uh, Kyle's Wimble was the elementary in fifth grade. And then Kanapaha was sixth, seventh, and eighth. This was middle school. Now, in middle school, I was still an asshole. I'll still be an asshole. But in middle school, uh, if, you, if you weren't good, I wasn't putting you on my team. Uh, even PE teachers would be like, Bamber, like, uh, why don't you want this kid on your team? I said, because he fucking sucks. Okay, so listen, if you think you know me now, I've been like this since I was fucking born. Like, since I was this, you know when you race to the sperm? Does anybody turn to tell you, hey, man, Take it easy. Hey, man, don't race too fast. Actually, motherfuckers, we're sperm racing to the egg. Who finishes first? The ones that make it to life. So if you think that second is an option, not to me, motherfucker. We all made it because we're number one. So anyways, back to what I'm talking about Gainesville is if you weren't good, you're not on my team. I don't care. I really don't care about if you play or you don't. If you don't want to win, I think you're a piece of shit. If you want to go through life and be hunky-dory like, oh, you know, this is that, this is that way, then go ahead and wonder why that you keep coming on Facebook following famous people, following famous athletes, because you're nothing. And you keep wanting to follow people that actually win. So by the way, in Gainesville... A fucking great athlete, but you know what? I got chunky. Now, there's uh, pictures on my Facebook you can go through because I know you guys are going to start stalking me. Now, there's there's things you can start doing. Now, I was a chunky kid. I was actually pretty fat when I grew up, right? So after about eight, nine years old, uh, I went to Gainesville. I started getting fat, started getting real smart, uh, honors grade. Uh, everything was A's. Everything was B's. But I was still good at sports, so if you made fun of me, I totally just made fun of you for not being good at sports. Now, no girls like me, um, and by the way, all the girls that I liked, I could show you my middle school yearbooks, are whores now, probably have baby daddies, probably aren't shit right now, but a bunch of fat pieces of shit, probably OD'd on some fucking pills, or probably are in jail, but I fucking made it. So back to Gainesville, Kanapaha. Um, doing great in middle school. Uh, we did great. Uh, and then after that, my sister graduated Gainesville, Florida, had a great sister, very, very smart. I was the other end of the spectrum. I was very, very good at sports. And then we went to River Ridge. Now, Jesus Christ, actually, sorry, before River Ridge, it was Palm Harbor, Tampa. Palm Harbor is in, uh, all right, sorry, P Palm Harbor High School Community College. It's, it's got college credits for high school. And this is around, uh, god damn, US 19, sorry, and it's got a cross street, but this high school was bullshit. Didn't win nothing in high school, didn't win nothing in football, piece of shit school. I didn't even make the ninth grade team. Now, if you're watching me and you know I play sports, I don't make the ninth grade team. <laughs> oh my god, then you fucking messed the fuck up. So I go to River Ridge, and in 10th grade, I start playing like real sports start playing football and baseball. Now, all I get called at River Ridge is Bamber. Like, why don't you play football? This is in 10th grade when I play baseball. Bamber, like, we pick you for first every time in football. You're the quarterback. You're the fucking safety. You're, you're great at what you do. But you know what? I don't like any of you. I don't like any of you. I didn't give a fuck about who you were, what you were doing, because I played baseball, and that was it. So 10th grade, I start pitching. I think it was uh, Coach Homco over at River Ridge. Uh, I think it was JV, and we were against Mitchell, and I strike out 17 batters. Now, if any of you fucking watch sports, which probably half of you don't, 17 outs 
out of what nine, 27 outs. If you strike out more than half the team, you're like Kobe Bryant of fucking baseball. Okay. So as soon as I struck out 17 batters, Coach Hom goes like, maybe we should move you up to varsity. Well, yeah, motherfucker. Maybe you should have done that the first time I was pitching. So move up to varsity, get awards. Now I got awards out of my garage. I'm moving to Georgia pretty soon. I'm boxing up everything. But yeah, I was really good at sports and I still am, which <laughs> most of you that are watching this right now, I don't really know what you're good at. <laughs> to be honest with you, you think you're a good server? Do you play soccer? Joel? Because you know what happens when you play soccer and you bring me out. I make you look like you're fucking peewee, okay? So anyways, after the sports in high school, I got hurt. And senior year, I uh, hit my meniscus over a river ridge. And I hope Ryan Mistel, Sean Murphy, everybody hears this from my high school. You guys fucking suck. Your whole high school team sucked. I was way better than all of you. But that happens. You know, sometimes that happens. But anyway, so after high school, uh, went to FAU because FAU was great. Sorry, guys, this is a McDonald's fucking Slurpee. I'm not on Coke. I'm not fucking drinking. So fuck what you think. I'm way better than you. So next to that, um, we go to high school and uh, I leave the FAU. Uh, FAU was a great school. Boca Raton, this is back in 2004. Looked great. A lot of blondes. A lot, of, a lot of hot girls, a lot of, a lot of great new things there. Uh, I got two scholarships, University of West Florida and uh, University of Melbourne. But there wasn't no lights on the baseball field. So I told my father, I was like, man, I'm not going to go to a fucking college that has no lights on the baseball field. Why would I go there? So I tried out for FAU. Didn't make the team, right? But I went in the dugout when I struck out about 10 of their batters and I took a swig of fucking Jack. The coach comes in the dugout, is like, yo, what the fuck is this? And I was like, yo, man, I'm just drinking from the night before because I joined ATO Alpha Tai Omega. If you guys know about that in college, because most of you probably couldn't join a frat. Most of you probably didn't join a sorority because you were probably losers. <laughs> but anyways, I joined a frat because uh, I was known and they wanted to get to know me. So we got fucked up the night before tryouts. And... Um, why am I bashing people? Yvonne, hey, that's what happens when you're a loser. You're going to get bashed. So anyways, so uh, after FAU, I leave FAU. My mother's like, what are you going to do after uh, college? And I looked at her and said, mm, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. So uh, she tells me, why don't you go model? And I said, model? I said, what are you talking about, those skinny fucks? Every one of you that model is such a fucking stick. Look at this. That's what you are. You're nothing. You're a fucking hanger that goes on a runway that they pay for you to do this because you're never going to be nothing. Now, when I joined, I was told that I took away from the whole model deal. Like, hey, man, we're trying to model clothes, but every time we put you in clothes, they ask who you are. And I say, well, maybe that's a smart thing because... If you want to model shit on me, uh, you're going to get famous because that's who I am. Now, if you don't believe me, Google my fucking name. And I guarantee you, Google my name, everyone. More famous than you. Uh, more famous, infamous, actually. We'll, we'll call it infamous than you're ever going to be. I'm on spreads, okay? I'm 19 years old. I'm on a spread for Yves Saint Laurent. 19 years old. Never got paid, okay? So at 19, I go up to New York. I go and start modeling. It's great. It's fucking wonderful. It's fucking great. So after after I do a little modeling in 19, I get sent back down to home and my mom and dad's like, this is what you want to do? I said, whatever's going to make me money, right? So I'm getting sent up to New York at 19 years old. Now, most of you are probably going to college at 19. Most of you think that, oh, I'm going to get a college degree. I'm going to be like so successful. <laughs> probably not. At 19, I was making more money than you and probably your mom and dad at 19, okay? At fucking 19 years old. But you know what I'm doing with it? I'm fucking up. I'm going to the clubs. I'm spending 10 grand on bottles, on tables. But actually, I'm hanging out with celebs that you guys adore. You guys are watching celebs. You're watching movies. You're watching reality. I was actually hanging out with all of them. <laughs> Not that worth it. So anyways, after 21, 
I come back down to Florida, right? I don't like the modeling thing. I'm just getting fucked up and I don't like it. I try to go back to school. So I go to Pasco Hernando Community College. And then, uh, then after, I go back to uh, Palm Beach uh, Community College. Now these were actually community colleges before they were state colleges, before everybody wanted money. So um, after that, uh, I go to two colleges. I smoke a blunt right in the middle of the courtyard and uh, I just didn't care. I just didn't really care about college. So I left college again. I, I then got called back up to go to New York, spent two years there in Astoria. And then I come back down to Florida. I stay in Miami with Elite. Now guys, I see you bitching on my text. Have you ever been a top model with Elite Models? Major model management? If you haven't, then shut the fuck up. You've done nothing. Okay, this is top of the top. I mean, all your magazine ads, all your spreads that you girls look at. Oh, I like Maybelline. Oh, I like all these girls that look like this. Yeah, I was fucking partying with them. Literally partying hard with them. Taking ecstasy, drugs, whatever the fuck you name it. I was doing this with all those people you think are famous. So anyways, I come back down. After the college, I go out to Taipei, Taiwan. Any of you guys traveled outside your city? If you have, you've been to Taipei, Taiwan? No, you haven't, so shut the fuck up. So I've been to Taipei, Taiwan, traveled around the city, uh, was modeling, great shit. Uh, Taipei 101, uh, a very Americanized city. It was great. I had, a, I had somebody, my speech, uh, I guess, speech, what do you, whatever, speech coach, I think speech coach, whatever you want to call it, he would talk for me and I wouldn't even talk. These guys would go around in Taipei, tell them what I want, what I needed, where to go, what to do, what to eat, and uh, I felt famous, right? Now, most of you probably haven't even left the country, um, and I feel bad. You probably should travel and do what you should do, and... Um, and Tiffany, I'm not going to look up Julia Joseph because Julia Joseph doesn't even sound famous. Uh, but anyways, so we come back from Taipei, Taiwan. I'm down in Miami. Now, Malinka Max, go ahead and look her up. Malinka Max. I'm talking Star Island, driven around in the fucking, uh, what's the, uh, the Phantom or whatever it's called. We're getting driven around Miami in a Phantom going to Star Island. Have any of you done that? And if you have, then good luck because that's a fucking awesome thing. But when I was about 21 years old, this is what I'm doing. So then, you know, infamous in Miami, making out with fucking girls, making out with gay dudes, doing drugs. It's fucking, it's fucking weird. It's fucking great. But I don't like it. So I go back home. I then live in about uh, West Palm Beach, Jupiter area for probably about 10 to 12 years, right? I work at LA Fitness, HMF The Breakers, Bravo, Sal's, Yard House. I think I worked about every uh, every restaurant industry thing you can think of there for fine dining. And I just wasn't happy. Um, I mean, I'll, <laughs> you want me to name out some girls too? Caitlin Audrey Moores, that was fun. We had a good time, but I called you out. That's why you dumped me. Tanya, you were too young and I hated your mom. Um, who else? Lisa P. There was probably 16. Brianna Stefano. There was probably 16 girls. You know what? You know what we call West Palm Beach? Eskimo Brotopia. That's what West Palm Beach is. Eskimo Brotopia. If you've been in West Palm Beach, you probably have herpes because everybody's fucked everybody in West Palm Beach. Now, years later, I meet Michael Freeman, which I love. I come from Ohio. Start working at LA Fitness, which is a great thing. Um, start personal training, which I still do. And, uh, oh, Rainforest. Yes, Kelsey, I worked at Rainforest for maybe a week in Orlando. But anyways, so we're in West Palm. We're playing flag football. Uh, Mario, uh, Hickey's, Tyler Hickey, the other Hickey brother. Kaysen knows. If you look up Tim Kaysen, he's got no comp. USA, he's doing a great thing, but we beat your ass. Wayne, who else wants to call me out in, in football down in West Palm Beach? I think you already know I fucked you up. 
So next to that, we were doing great, um, but I just didn't like it. So uh, what I'm going to do next is, uh, <laughs> uh, God, Federico, Federico from, from Taipei, Taiwan, Jesus Christ, how fun was that? Anyways, uh, Francesca, your chickens might need some looking over in the coop. Um, next is after Taipei. All right, so I'm going, I'm going all over the place here. So after uh, Taipei, Taiwan, after New York, after I spent all that time there, uh, 25 years old, I go back to New York, right? Go back to New York. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to model again. I'm going to do great. Um, you know what? I hate modeling nude. I don't like taking my clothes off for gay dudes. And this is before Harvey Weinstein, to be honest. This is before Harvey started touching girls. I had uh, photographers touch my dick. Um, this was not cool shit to me. I was modeling nude. You know, I was already uncomfortable with the shit. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm getting paid. And most of you, if you were getting paid as much as I was, you'd probably do a lot worse shit. Uh, so next to that... Who is the redheaded buddy, the vinylist that you going to set me up with? Troy, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. But next to that, so I come back from New York, right? And I'm like, you know what? I don't like this mom. I don't want to do this, dad. So then uh, I leave and I go to California. And you know what California does? Escape Club. Go ahead and Google Escape Club on E. The worst reality show I've ever fucking seen. Now, I can do some behind the scenes shit to that. Everybody there was bullshit. And I called them all out. I called E out. I called the directors out. I called everybody that was on that fucking show out. Now, if you watch the show, probably the worst reality show you're ever going to watch in the, in the fucking world. But actually, watch me, and I guarantee you, you're going to laugh the whole fucking time. Now, after this bullshit show, I didn't like it. So I left. So I come back to Florida. Now, now you know, I go around, and I'm like, you know, what am I going to do after this? Well, fine dining was great. So I go to Christini's, go to Yard House, go to Eddie V's, go to Urbane. But you know what? I don't like kissing ass, guys. And you know what? If you're a server right now, you kiss so much ass. It's unbelievable. That's all you do. Oh, what do you want? You want an appetite? You want some wine? God damn, you guys. Listen, I'm leaving the hospitality industry because I don't kiss ass. <laughs> Sorry, never have and I never will. And I'll call you out even if you're a fucking manager. Now, next to that, what am I? Uh, uh, what, 33, 34? Yeah, well, I use no filter, right? Look at this. I got some bags under my eyes, right? I got some wrinkles and shit. But you know what? Who the fuck is doing avatars? What the fuck are you doing? Hey, here we go. Hold on. Hold on, hold on guys. Here we are. Hi, I'm a fucking avatar. I think I'm so fucking cool on Facebook. Look at me. I'm a fucking cartoon, because that's what you guys are. You're fucking cartoons to me. You're fucking jokes. You guys are all fucking jokes to me. God, you want to follow a trend? Jump off a fucking bridge, okay? Because that's what I want to see you do. Go jump off a fucking bridge. And I hope everybody follows that did avatars. Go jump the fuck off a bridge. Jesus fucking Christ. You guys are horrible. Like, what else? I mean, women. We give you makeup, right? You have this. You know, do your makeup. Do your shit. And now you're doing fucking avatars. Like, you can't even stand the way you look. And you know what? I hate that because I love all you women. You're beautiful who you are, but stop the fake shit. It's so ridiculous. It, it, it is. And you know what? And you think I'm fucking ridiculous? I don't have an avatar. Never did that emoji shit. But you guys look like you're fucking five years old. I don't know how you guys are teaching kids these days to grow up. Hey, mom, what did you do when you were 20? Oh, my ass was out on a boat shot because I, I knew some guy that owned a boat and I went on his boat and I didn't offer him no money, didn't offer him no gas, and I didn't offer him to clean the boat after. Man, girls in Palm Beach are girls anywhere. You're fucking pathetic. Listen, go to school. 
graduate, do something with your fucking life other than be a whore, or show your bathing suit. Like, you don't think we've seen people in bathing suits? Jesus Christ, I've seen so many fake titties in my life. It's ridiculous, okay? You're nothing. You got fake tits? Oh my God, that's great for you. Oh, you got a nose job? Well, okay. You got Botox? Can you do that? Can you do this? No, you can't. I don't know when you're smiling. I don't know when you're fucking mad because you got Botox. You're fucking fake. Okay, next, next. What are we going to do? Look at this. You see these teeth? See how crooked they are? Look at this. Because I don't give a fuck because I am who I am. Now, if you guys want to keep being fake, you guys want to keep realizing that everything you do on Facebook is fucking fake. Oh, let me post a picture with a filter in it. No, motherfucker. Post the picture. That's the real picture. Let us see what you really are. But if you keep doing this fucking pose, oh my God, hold on. Can I, can I show you the pose? Hold on. What's the pose? With the fucking leg up. What is it? What is this, girls? What, what the fuck is the leg up? Is that a horse pose? You look like a fucking horse. Or, or should we just say horse with a WH? Jesus Christ, women. Can you cook? I bet you 90% of you that post up pics can't even cook a craft mac and cheese. Please stop your bullshit. I'm tired of it. The whole fucking world's tired of it. And, and you know what? The last thing I'm going to say here before I go off is you girls that don't have a dad. Holy fucking shit. Yo, listen. If you wanted to fuck somebody and have a kid, you might want to choose a good gene pool. Because all the shit I see is you guys fucking some lame ass dudes and having lame ass babies. And you know what? Be a mom, but don't ever bitch to me like, oh, I'm an independent. I'm a strong woman. I take care of my shit. Bitch, you met a dude and fucked him, had a kid, and now the dude's not even around. You're, you're terrible. You are terrible. Have the kid, have a mother and father. How about that? You know what? You know what? You know what my fucking 2020 resolution is? If I ever fuck a girl and have a kid, you stay with her. And this goes out to all those faggot ass dudes too that leave your women with a baby. You're pathetic. I probably bought drugs off of you. I probably talked to you, but you're a fucking piece of shit. Stay with your motherfucking woman. If you have a kid, stay with them. If you are separate, oh, I have four kids by fucking three baby daddies. <laughs> um, yeah, not worth it. Now, now, some of my friends actually have kids with like three different girls. Now, they love me and they know that I'm talking shit here, but Jesus Christ, women! You think you're cool with a kid with no dad? You are pathetic. Pathetic. Just get that with me, okay? So if you're not going to stay with your man after you have kids, then get the fuck on. Don't ever talk to me because I'm going to call you out because you're a whore. You're a hoe. You're going to fuck dudes, have a kid just for the tax return, or I don't even know why you're having these kids. For what? Did you plan on staying with the guy? Oh, yeah, but the guy cheats on me. He's like this. Then why the fuck are you having kids with him? God damn, you're stupid as fuck. So next to that, I'm going to get off live here for a second. But guys, stay with your kids. If you're a mother and father and you plan to have kids or boyfriend or girlfriend and plan to have kids, stay with them. Jesus Christ, you all are fucked up. You know how many people I see with separate mothers and fathers? Guess what? You think your son or daughter's going to grow up, right? They're not. Sorry, they're just not. Stop fucking being a hoe. Stop spreading your legs for dudes and then letting them leave you. Be a woman. Save your shit until you meet a guy that's actually good. So I'm going to get off of here. But next to that, yeah, go ahead and unfriend me, you piece of shit. Janora. <laughs>
Yeah, like I give a fuck about you anyways. You probably don't mean anything to me and your friend requested me. So anyways, oh God, here we go. Abusive man. Well, you probably should have known the guy was abusive after the first year. Jesus, listen. If you're going to have a kid, stay with the husband. And if you want a kid, stop fucking losers. Jesus, I don't even have a kid. And I'm probably the hottest guy you've probably seen. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry for this. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. Hottest guy. How about this? Does that look better for you guys? Does this look better? How about the fours and fives that you guys fucked actually left all of you and now you're stuck with a kid? How does that fucking feel? Fucking feels like shit, doesn't it? I don't care. Oh, I'm independent. I, I, I'm a strong woman. No, you're not. You fucking opened your legs to some piece of shit that left you. You're nothing. So I'm going to talk to you all later. Have a good night.